All right, this strip, we're here with Brad Armstrong. How are you? How you doing, guys? Good, good. Mr. Wicked Extraordinaire, right? Oh, he's sweet talker, yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. So what do you got? What, do, what is the latest project you've got that you just finished up? Um, the latest one is uh, Asa's uh, first movie for us as a contract girl, Asa Gets Wicked. And uh, it's one of those star vehicles where she's in every scene. Uh, oh, okay. An artsy vignette. And... Uh, she uh, keeps her asaism uh, with every every <laughs> every scene is anal or DP, and uh, not only are you get in the hard sex, but it's really good looking as well. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah, she's one of your newest girls now. Too, she right? we just signed her in uh, let's say October. Okay. So uh, she's fresh out the gate. That's uh, she's been in a couple movies. Uh, uh, for us in the past, uh, we used her pretty religiously because she's so good, but. Uh, uh, she was ready for a change, and we were happy to have her. So, and it all kind of uh, came up by accident on Twitter. So, <laughs> oh, nice! Uh, somebody loved Twitter. So, right? Somebody tweeted me, "You should sign Asakir and Madison Ivy." And I said, "Well, I think Madison Ivy just got signed." And Asa texted me and said, "Was it you guys who signed her?" I said, <laughs> "I said no, it was Brazzers." He goes, "Ah," oh. I said, "But we'd be happy to have you both." And she goes, "Really?" I said, "Well." you're kind of doing your own thing now because we almost signed her when she first got into business. Right. And, um, and then she goes, no, you know what? I, I think I may be. So we had a couple meetings and uh, went back and forth. And you had to twist her arm really hard, huh? Next thing, she was a <laughs> wicked girl. So. Well, very good, very good. We enjoy having her here because it's, it's, you she know. is awesome. She's fun to talk to and she's got a great personality. Great personality. She fits in with all the other girls. Oh, I mean, yeah. So we got a bunch of hot girls with great personalities and... I know, I know. So what do you got? What do you got planned for next year? What do you, what do you, what do you got? Um, we got a couple, couple of big things. I think we're gonna uh, five years later do uh, Fallen Two, which oh, finally another one. Still, nice. still to this day, one of our biggest sellers. Uh, I, I, that is one of the trademark ones. Yeah. You know? So uh, I think we're gonna, we were actually gonna do it in November, uh, but uh, then it started getting cold, and we had a couple of other difficulties. So we have a lot of like rooftop sex scenes and this and that so <laughs> i didn't want everybody freezing their nuts off so no, uh, no. we decided to push it to uh this spring when we get a little bit better weather so we got that uh we have another couple of interesting movies uh coming up i'm writing one right now that uh part of it takes place in new york and it's kind of uh as funny as it sounds it has to a little bit of a tribute to 9 11 uh, but we're handling it with uh, a lot of care and dignity with grace uh, yes of okay. course so um and uh and then we've got uh, one with asa that uh, is actually part of it's going to be shot in japan so we got some interesting oh, nice. uh, interesting stuff i finally got her after all these years to uh talk a little japanese uh, she talks oh, some nice. some japanese she's pretty nice. fluent in japanese so i've uh I've been begging her to do it for years, but now that oh. she's a contract girl, she's a whole other genre right there. You know, saying. yeah. So uh, we might do a little uh, anime movie with her as well. Um, to uh, that's to awesome. Use. So I'm gonna. I like. I really like to get the girls, um, other than their fucking skills, if they have any other skills, sure, sure. and uh, and really, uh, you know, show their other side. So, so what style of anime would you do it in? I mean, it gets now cosplay so big and anime is big. Yeah. So with with her being Japanese, really work that angle and and do, you know, some some cosplay. And roll it out at Comic Con, right? And, <laughs> and do that, and maybe have an accompanying comic book. Oh, so well, okay. now you know, you're I think it could be good. That's awesome. So That's awesome. We got a bunch of things in there. It just depends because of scheduling and you know budgets, everything. You can only sure. do so many big sure. ones in a year. So it just depends on, I've got my, my wish list of things to do. Now, so. how, now, how many times do you plan a movie and you've got it all thought out and you get it planned out and then you think, okay, and then you go, wait a minute, I, I went over budget. Yeah, well, between budget and scheduling and sometimes as, you know, uh, your lead all of a sudden is sick or has to fly out of town with a family emergency. So nothing worse than getting everything together and then have it, or you've got a a uh, moratorium or whatever, oh, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? So yeah. nothing worse than getting everything together and then having to put the brakes on. Now what, uh, now what about, um, I just totally lost my question. There you go. you <laughs> want me to give you one? Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> pull one out of my ass for me. No, so you're writing too as well. So I, I I mean, write them, I uh, produce them, I do all the art direction and wardrobe for them. I pretty much wear all the hats, you know. 
I have a producing partner in David Lords now, um, but for the most part, I, I'm the Mad Hatter. Now, also is saying when she comes on set that you have her wardrobe laid out for her already. Oh yeah, we and usually, especially Did like you pick uh, all that out. Uh, uh, everybody who wears everything, unless it's just regular street clothes in a movie, I usually most of them I'm making them. Like all the the clothes. The clothes for Underworld, uh, Underworld. A lot of that was like handmade stuff. Oh yeah, you can't just that, buy it off the uh, That we that that I made myself. So. Oh, you make I'm the clothes a, yourself. I'm a sewer too, baby. Wow. I wouldn't so, have never guessed. Yeah. I, I would have never guessed that you were Years of, I used to be a, uh, a male stripper back in the day mm -hmm. before I got into porn, yeah. and I actually made as much money making the guys' costumes as I did dancing. I believe it. So. I there's believe only it. so many places you can go for cool shit, especially for dudes. That's so, true. It followed me into porn as a as a life skill. And that's funny you bring that up because I just read that article the other day, and it said that you hate HD at the time. <laughs> it's it's one of those things where HD doesn't do a lot of people a lot of favors. Yeah, you know what I mean? So you got to work around it, and and then it, a lot of back end stuff. You're going in and and uh, but you've gotten better at it, right? Fixing flaws. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's a learned art. Uh, lighting's a little bit different. Um, you know. Just everything, your sets have to be a little cleaner and tighter because, you know, you're actually seeing them right, right now. We're shooting everything on the 5Ds, which is gives you a little latitude because mm -hmm. your people are in, in focus, but you're, you have a great drop off with the lenses. Sure, so sure. not everything has to be quite as perfect. So it's uh, that the field is your friend. It's a beautiful thing, <laughs> especially when you get a crappy backdrop and it just looks so great when it's all uh, blurry. Yeah, you know. for sure. There was, there's a couple of times when you're going, ah, oh, this set doesn't look quite as good as you know, or if you're in a big mansion, it's a great place, but you see marks on the walls and everything. Sure. It's like, oh, shit. So There's Timmy when he was four, and Timmy when he was 12. Yeah, you know, it's all on the wall. You know? We did that in a, in, um, un, uh, in a Countdown. Mm -hmm. We had a, a bar scene, and it was one of those bars. It was a great bar, and we got it for a great price, and it was right by the office, so we didn't have to go anywhere for it. But the whole wall uh, was, you know, Frame pictures of all these oh. famous, all these famous people, and we had you to can't actually, have any of those. We had to the actually shot. go in and do a, a test to see how out of focus they were uh, before oh. we before we decided to shoot it and go. Is it enough out of focus? Yeah. You should have printed a bunch of bunch of like pictures of you and just put them all, taped them all on. There. <laughs> That's <laughs> little little you know little Easter egg for everybody. Yeah. Yep, so so if, if so if I if I had the money and I just gave you a hundred million dollars right now to do anything you want, what would you do? It would not be porn. No, I mean, <laughs> okay, now you're, yeah. uh, you know, there, there's a number of projects because, yeah, right now I, I just cut down my, my number of movies for the year sure. uh, because it was, it was a bit of a treadmill and after 20 years, it's like, uh. <laughs> so uh, I just cut my movies down and we're looking for other things to do and, and mainstream projects are definitely there. So I've got a couple of scripts that if you were giving me a hundred million dollars, I would do, uh, I probably have about five five movies I could squeeze into that, mm -hmm. uh, if not more, and, and make a chunk for both of us. And uh, but yeah, I've got some smaller budget ones and some bigger budget ones. So, um, you know, it's it's uh, it's a goal. So, so where do you come up with the ideas? I mean, is just. Is it random? Are you a readaholic? Do you read no, a lot of I stuff? I'm not or? a reader whatsoever. I am a TV and movie junkie. So some of them are swiped a little bit. Some of mm -hmm. them are. Uh, a, uh, kind of a montage of a, of a number of movies or a character I find interesting in one movie I'll put them in a completely different uh, atmosphere you know what I mean yeah. um, some of them are just I'm a, I'm a great thinker on the shower and the dumper so a lot of <laughs> movies a lot of, a lot of movies come to me that or just that m moment or two where you're awake but you're not awake yes you know what yes. I mean it's just a lot of things come there so it depends, and some some are homages where where you take the basic idea, and and then completely change it around. So it just depends. They come from all over the place. Perfect, perfect. So if I was to tell a stranger on the street, Brad Armstrong, what do you hope they think of? Um, that I make good movies. You know what I mean? For the most part, I do two or three different kinds of movies. I do. The kind of uh, all vi all sex or, or, or vignette version mm -hmm. where it's all really high end and classy and polished. I do kind of so the, a couple of here and there the romantic comedies, and then the big budget epics. So I've, I'd say for the most part I'm known for the for the epics. Good filmmaker. 
I do, line. I do my best. Bottom line. Well, how many awards are you guys up for this year? Um, Underworld is up for 17 itself. Um, out of that, wow. I take about uh, four of those home out of, uh, <laughs> to put on my mantle. Uh, you had a big mantle, right? Yeah, I, I polished off a little area today. I had the maids clear a little Last bit. Last uh, Yeah. Um, and then I've got a couple of other smaller movies that are up for for uh, half a dozen or so things. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully, uh, Cross fingers Vegas. crossed. Yeah. Fingers crossed. So. What do you like to do in Vegas while you're here? You know what? You usually don't have enough time to go because you've got other obligations. So there's not quite enough time to go do other shit in between. Yeah, I, know. Um, I like the shows. Obviously, the last one we saw was Absent which oh, was okay. a, a really good show. Um, so we'll see. And usually uh, we hang out a little bit a, a day or two after the show to kind of unwind. unwind. <laughs> and, and so we hit a couple of shows then, and then it's back to work. Hit the buffet and go back home. I love buffet. Oh, that for sure. Awesome. <laughs> so. All right. Well, thank you for taking the time with us today. Right, thank one. you so much. All right.